becoming an entrepreneur is one of the most difficult things to do. Uh, the work hours are every day, seven days a week. Uh, it's something you cannot turn off. Uh, when I go home at night, I'm still thinking about work. Uh, when I go home at night, I'm still, you know, even though I'm having dinner, I'm thinking about something here in the business. So it's something you can't turn off when you're a true entrepreneur. The other thing that you have to be willing to do is you're going to have to be able to take risk. I mean, you have to be a risk taker. Um, I'm a risk taker. And... Uh, if, if you don't have certain characteristics to become an entrepreneur, the best thing is not to do it. You're going to work long hours. You're going to take significant risk. You're going to have to learn how to manage conflict. You're going to have to be in positions you may not want to uh, normally be in. One of the other biggest things I, I, I talk about is, is making sacrifice. There's been a number of times when I've been on an airplane on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, attending a funeral. I've uh, been on a plane when I had the flu and I didn't really want to fly, but I'm going to an employee function. And those are the kind of sacrifices you're going to have to to really make sure that you're able to take. You're going to miss some of your kids' first baseball games. You're going to miss weddings. You're going to miss a lot of things in life. And you've got to be prepared that you're going to say, I'm going to start this company. I'm going to become a true entrepreneur, and I'm going to handle these sacrifices and do that. Entrepreneurship at times can be very lonely. The higher you go in an organization, uh, it gets lonely because there's really no one truly to pat you on your back to say you're doing a good job. So those are the things you have to have in your mind and be able to understand that, hey, you, you know, you've got to manage your company. You've got to manage your family time. So it, it's tough. I mean, um, I would not recommend anyone uh, just wake up and become an entrepreneur. You really got to want to do this. And uh, once you make that decision, then you go full force and make sure your family's behind you and do it. Some people think, oh, I've got this idea, but it's, you know, it's nothing like METI or it's nothing, you know, these larger companies. Is, is there some truth to saying that no idea is small? That's absolutely right. I mean, it, it, you cannot go on that premise alone. What you've got to do is, is vet that idea out. You need to get with your friends or get with some family and say, I've got this idea of this widget that I think is going to revolutionize the world. What do you think? And see what they say. And, and a lot of times your friends and family will tell you, you know, is it crazy or is it not crazy? And then you can go from there. But you don't want anyone to be a dream killer. You know, if someone would have killed my dreams, I wouldn't be where I am today.